have such an amazing lineup for you. First, you're going to see Yvonne Montoya of Safos Dance Theater coming at us and doing some amazing work that brought me to tears when I saw it. Um, Rebecca Deutsch and Rebecca of Rebecca Deutsch is going to is going to do some uh, live work and video work. Just you wait and see who's going to show up on that thing. And then we're going to have Gail Fiquette of Fiquette Projects. Um, so please stay tuned. These are all folks that we want to present at some point in the future. And you're going to see their sort of postcard to Ensemble Theater now through the art chairs coming at you. Take it away. Hello everyone, I'm Yvonne Montoya from Safos Dance Theater based in Tucson, Arizona. Originally we were going to present a work in progress showing of Stories from Home, but what we are sharing instead is new work from our Stories from Home, the COVID-19 addendum, and in it we are exploring um, new ideas of ensemble. Thank you for tuning in. Blues is a story about resilience. It's a play about survival and also magic. Blues is a 14 year old girl who is trying to grow up in an upside down world. She starts to hear voices and see ghosts and begins to think that she's God. It's also a story of my family. It becomes the story of my great-grandmother because over the course of the play one of the ghosts that Luz comes to know is the ghost of her deceased maternal grandmother and this is where our two stories begin to overlap. My family is from Lithuania and my great-grandmother was born in the forest outside of Vilnius to a family of poor Jewish peasants who could not afford to have her. She was one of seven children. So when she turned six, they found her a job in a neighboring village pouring hot coffee and tea for someone they knew and put her on a horse and sent her away. So she worked at this cafe for a year and by the time she was seven, she was so depressed and missed home so much that she found some strange courage and one day she stepped on top of the table in the middle of her shift and took a pot of boiling water and she poured it down her arms. When her parents saw her, they said, that's enough, we can't live like this. We're leaving Lithuania, we're moving to America. And soon after, the Nazis invaded. My family survived because of that child and her brave, strange instinct. So I share this story because it teaches us supreme resilience. Now is the time for resilience, for survival. We are surviving in a crazy time. So what is my play now? Maybe just a reminder that you are brave, that you matter, and that your instincts are brilliant. My name is Rebecca Deutsch, and I'm a playwright and a sculptor and an elementary school teacher in Oakland. I've devoted my life and career to guiding children through the creation of new performance and devised theater. I believe this is the way to create radical human beings.
that are ready to engage a changing world. This is a way of reifying courtesy. This is a way of creating democracy, fostering empathy, and generating love. So I will leave you with this. For the past many weeks, we've been experiencing terrible wildfires in California. Two weeks ago, my childhood home burned. The fire has exposed some incredible root systems of redwood trees. Root systems that I think will be instructive. Because the crazy thing about redwoods are they grow over 300 feet tall, but their roots are only five feet deep. They build their exceptional strength and resilience by reaching out sideways and intertwining their roots with the trees around them. I invite you all to intertwine your roots with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. you know virtual reality <laughs> no 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 joke 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 it's okay it's okay does it matter no i think you're good we're in a you know virtual reality <laughs> no 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 joke 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 it's okay it's okay does it matter no i think you're good we're in a, you know, virtual reality. <laughs> no, no, no joke, no joke, no joke, no joke, no joke, no joke, no joke. It's okay. It's okay. Propaganda. Propaganda. Da, 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 da. Campaigns. If nothing is true, as well as then no one can criticize power. Because there is no basis upon which to do so. Has called. No basis <laughs> upon which to do so. Purely professional. If nothing is true, then all is spectacle. Spectacle. Deleted documentation. And do you have documentation? What? What care? What care? What care? What care?
Generic cynicism makes us feel hip, 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 and alternative, and alternative, even as, even, even as who controls, even as who controls what? 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 Who controls Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for the art shares. Wow. I mean, we are saying so much with the art that we're making and just these tiny postcards. Uh, I, I want to see everything and I want to see them now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you to Gail and Manny. And please stay tuned. There are four more art shares of this diversity and this amazing impact. We are gonna do a bio break and guess what? We're early, so we get 14 minutes. Just make sure you check the chat because there is a discrete Zoom link for our next session, which is the Aesthetic Equity Fieldwide session. You do not wanna miss this. We're gonna have report backs from our morning sessions and um, our affinity groups and 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 really come together for a very tight hour so please be on time to um to come back in and it'll be this discrete zoom link that you should be seeing in the chat so um see you back at 2 30. awesome thank you so much